In this instructional video, I'm going to show you how uh, to make a Colorado spinner. Now before we get started in making this spinner, I want to first go through the components that make up the spinner. Uh, the first is the spinner shaft, and uh, the shaft is basically the backbone of the spinner, all, which all other components are uh, built on. Uh, Next, you can see there's uh, the spinner has some plastic beads, uh, more or less acts as an attractant for the fish. Uh, the spinner blade, this particular spinner blade is a Colorado spinner blade. It has a hammered fish pattern on it, and uh, this particular one is a chartreuse and green coloring. Uh, what attaches the spinner blade? to the wire shaft is what we call a clevis and on either side of the clevis you can see there's uh, two metal beads now these two beads are important on either side of the clevis to actually prevent the spinner from binding upon the other uh, lower components as it spins and lastly on the spinner you can see that there's a, a split ring and the split ring is for easily attaching or removing uh, the fish hook that you'd want to put put on the spinner. So to get started, we start with a closed loop wire shaft. So on one side, one end of this wire shaft, there's a closed loop already formed. Uh, a little later, I'll show you how to form these closed loops. So we have our wire shaft. We first put the beads on the shaft. So we're going to use six plastic beads. I'm going to go with a, a chartreuse color for this particular spinner. So there's four, five, and Six. So now once we have those plastic beads installed, the next part is to insert the hollow steel bead, which is going to prevent the spinner blade from binding up on the, the plastic beads when it spins. Now I'll just lay this down for a moment. Next step is to take your, your spinner blade and through the eye in the spinner blade you're going to insert a clevis. Okay. So now when you attach the spinner blade to the wire shaft it's important to have the the convex side facing away from from the shaft and on this particular blade the convex side is painted while the concave side is is simply a, a silver. So get our wire shaft again. Put the clevis down over and now we have uh, the spinner blade added. The next step is to take the last metal bead And we're almost there. Uh, the last last thing to do is to make a, a closed loop at the top of this uh, spinner, so it gives you an attachment point to your fishing line. Now, where I like to put this closed loop is what I do is I use the spinner blade as a as a guide. So I just lift the spinner blade up on the spinner and where it reaches upwards that's where I'm going to install the closed loop so for the closed loop what you do is you take a pair of needle nose pliers and first step is to put a 30 degree bend in the wire Now we have 30 degree bend. Now, if you like, 
And I'm, I actually go through this in another instructional video on making closed loops. You can continue making your closed loop with the needle nose pliers where you would simply just bend this tag in up over the tip of the, the pliers down the other side. So essentially you're going around 360 degrees to give you a loop. But the problem with using needle nose pliers for that is you don't get a, a nice uniform circular loop. So there's another tool that you can use for that and that's uh, round nose pliers. So simply grasp the wire shaft at the bend with your round nose pliers and you can actually bend the wire now with your fingers uh, but I like to use the needle nose pliers to to bend the wire uh, simply because you get a tighter bend and as well with the heavier gauge wires it's a, it's a little harder to bend with your fingers. So I take my needle nose pliers and I grasp it close to the round nose pliers and I slowly start bending. around. So when you get around a, about halfway you'll have to make a readjustment. Okay, so now you can see we have a nice uniform loop form and we still have some extra wire here. Now this extra wire we're going to use to make two turns around the shaft of the spinner. So for that I hold the loop with the needle nose pliers and then with my fingers I make two complete turns of the wire around. So you can see that. So I have two complete turns. There's still some excess wire there. So you take a pair of wire cutters and as close as possible you cut off that excess I just like to cover it with my hands as I'm cutting it so you don't flick that wire in your eyes. So you can see we now have a spinner. Uh, we're almost there. The last step is to attach the split ring which will allow you then to attach a fish hook. And to attach the split ring, well, this is not necessary but what I like to use are split ring pliers. It just makes it a little easier to get the split ring open. So I have the split ring in my pliers. And this split ring is going to go down at the bottom of the spinner where the plastic beads are. So once you get it started, then it's fairly simple to put it on. And there's a simple Colorado spinner.